to draw the holes what I'll frequently do is use this ellipse tool but I'll modify it so let me draw an ellipse in that general area and press Z key to zoom in and then press the V key to transform these shapes. So first is I'm going to turn this and get it to the point where it is close to the dot to the hole that he already has but I don't like it to be perfectly even so I use the pencil tool and what happens with the pencil tool right now there is a little X next to the pencil but when you move it close to the line the X disappears and that means that you can actually modify this shape simply by drawing over it so I'm going to cut in a little bit here and I've just changed the shape to a slightly more organic look far away from the circle if I make a mark now it's going to make a separate mark but I don't want that mark so I'm going to delete it now this image this green shows that this is selected the way to unselect it is simply press the V key and then tap on your canvas somewhere. The reason I use this tool is because for me an illustrator it's hard to get two ends of a um, of a circle to get to stick together properly so I prefer to use this tool and if I want to get a little bit of line width or variation on it I'll just take a fine brush press B get my fine brush and then just maybe add a little thickness to one side of it or something but it's so small in the scheme of things as you can see there that I'm not going to bother with that so I'm going to zoom back in and what you can also do is I'm going to press the V key and select that and press command C to copy and command V to paste and then I can simply drag this to another portion and then also distort it again by pressing the V key. If you look in the corner your arrow turns into well let me select it by dragging over it. it turns into a little bit of a rocker and you can just turn it that way and you can reshape it by changing the box or you can use the pencil tool to reshape it and it doesn't uh, there's no precision here this can go anywhere if you press V it selects it and then you can simply drag it anywhere you want to by holding on to this but if you drag it by one of these you're gonna stretch it so I'm gonna press command Z so you're dragging it by its shape but if you drag it by a corner it's also going to stretch however if you want to resize something you select the item and when it's selected you can move it however you want to but if you want it scale it press the shift key and then drag and it will maintain its proportions and that's very similar to Photoshop so again to deselect it I'm just going to tap on the canvas and I continue to press command 0 to go wide so I can see what I'm doing I'm going to zoom in on another hole and I'm going to press command V because uh, this shape is still in in memory in the clipboard. I'm just going to move it and I use press the N key to get the pencil to distort it and I will distort it again. I don't want everything looking similar. I don't want anything looking like it's a cookie cutter. But on Spongebob, his holes have a little bit of irregularity to them. Alright, I'm going to go back out wide. I'm going to tap the canvas. I'm going to press V and tap the canvas to deselect that. Again, I'm just doing the small holes right now. I'm going to go over here to press Command V to paste. And then the V key alone. I'll just turn that around. Sometimes you don't even have to change them. You don't have to distort it if you don't want to. That's a nice shape. I can also scroll over here to the next one. Press Command V to paste. And I will turn that around. 
I don't want to draw too much attention to these holes, so that's one of the reasons why I'm not drawing them by hand. I don't really want to give them a very compelling shape. So now all the small holes have been done. I'm sure this is uh, pretty boring, but I'm putting it all out there. So now the bigger hole is time for the bigger ones. Now that's good. All right. And what I can do, if you wanted to, is you could select this and maybe make it a little bit thicker if you wanted to by going up here and picking two points. That makes it thicker. Or you could type in the box and type in 1.5 and then hit return. And that makes it 1.5. But I'm not going to do that. Uh, I've noticed that things get kind of messed up when I start messing around with this. There is also this tab called Appearance. So if I select this, this stroke is 1.5, uh, or is 1, and it doesn't have any fill.